Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. Pass me around, pass me around Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. Y'all know how I feel about my chizzing. If you guys like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Oh, man. Mystical. Mystical, mystical, mystical. This is a sad story of a very talented rapper out there from New Orleans. Third War. Shout out New Orleans, my mother effing second home. Oh, I love me some New Orleans. Ratchet ass city. Uh, anyway, Mystical has had a long history of SA uh, allegations, and he is a convicted uh, sex offender. I didn't know that. But uh, this is a sad story of somebody so talented. And it just goes to show you the people that we see on TV, we really don't know who these people uh, know who these people are. Uh, very talented, put out a lot of hits. The downward spiral of mystical. We're about to jump into this thing. I got a couple of videos I want to play for y'all, and I'm gonna be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go. A well-known rapper on the wrong side of the law tonight, his third rape arrest over the past two decades. Tonight, Mystical, whose real name is Michael Tyler, is being held without bond at the Ascension Parish Jail. WBRZ first to break the high-profile rapper's arrest on our news app this morning, and the investigative unit first to publish the disturbing details on what landed him in jail. Here is our chief investigator, Chris Nakamoto. Michael Sylvia, a woman claims she was raped, robbed, and held against her will by a man whose fame did not provide him any favors. Damn, Tonight, this, this... Mystical sits in the Ascension Jail, accused of charges that could put him away for life if he's convicted. Your face. Watch yourself. Shake your face. Show me what... old Michael Tyler isn't known to many by his real name. The music you just heard got him fame and alleges he raped her at his home on Saturday in Prairieville, robbed her, and held her against her will. Two individuals, they met up at his home to discuss some finances. Um, and at some point, that uh, conversation went very, very far left. Um, she said that he seemed fine when they were initially talking. At some point, he stepped away, maybe to the restroom. He came back a completely different person. Um, and... That was when he began to come on to her. This warrant for Mystical's arrest details exactly what he's accused of. The woman had cuts, bruises on her arms, leg, face, mouth, and neck and hair yanked from her scalp. The warrant alleges Mystical punched her, pulled her braids from her head, took her phone and keys to prevent her from leaving, choked her to the point she could not breathe, and forcibly raped her. The victim alleges Mystical verbally berated her, spit in her face, and threw rubbing alcohol on her, claiming that she had bad spirits on her, that it would help Ooh. cleanse. No one came to the door at his home on retreat lane in Prairieville, but neighbors on this quiet street told me he was always cordial and waved. But he also kept to himself and was a recluse. In 2014, we caught up with him on a ride along with deputies as they checked on convicted sex offenders, which he is. How you doing? All good. All <laughs> At the time, he told us he knew how important these checks are, especially when sex offenders are in your neck of the woods. I have the same fears that most parents have. You know, I don't, I don't have no offense against no, you know, young kids and nothing like that. Don't just don't make my offense no better. But still, you know, you, I mean, <sighs> damn. So he is a convicted uh, S word to finish this. The Damn, so he has been convicted. He's a sex from the man. Like, damn, Mystical. You down bad, bro. You down bad. Protect your kids, man. Protect your kids. That's, you know, our kids are the most important thing that we have. He also said being a sex offender had not stopped him. Pity party thing, you know. We, I, I have to participate in sex offender groups and stuff like that uh, twice a month. 
You know, it, it don't stop your life, man. Despite his fame, the show, show the victim any sympathy, and he doesn't get any sympathy or special treatment. So he will be in general population or, or will be incarcerated just like anyone else. Mystical has been charged twice before for rape, once in 2002, another in 2017. The first one resulted in a six-year prison conviction and forced him to register as a sex offender. Three weeks ago, deputies were also called to Mystical Street after a man says a woman came to his door alleging she was beaten by the rapper. He has Damn. a bond hearing tomorrow afternoon. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this root? Would y'all like some of this rooted in music TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Mystical, man. Like I said earlier, a few. Uh. Like I said earlier, I did not know he was registered. I thought it was all uh, allegations, accusations. I thought they're just trying to put dirt on a nigga's name. And that nigga was doing some nigga shit. Yes, he was. Mystical was very versatile. If he would have stayed on his career path, uh, I don't know about top five, but he would have been up there. He remind me of like a the category of ludicrous. He might be in the category of Buster Rhymes, just fun, upbeat, jamming. He keeps the people hype, smooth, soothing, like his music, his music bang. That Tarantula album was, was, I remember that album, that, that album was slamming. But the thing about Misco is obvious, and coming from New Orleans, New Orleans got a lot of problems in the households. There's a lot of frustration out there. There's a lot of child abuse out there. There's a lot of things that go on out there um, in New Orleans. And knowing that, I can see why, how, how he developed like that. There's a lot of violence. There's a lot of misery. There's a lot of pain in New Orleans, right? So growing up in those environments, you know, we don't know what his household is like. Uh, we, we don't know what his household was like growing up. I'm pretty sure it wasn't too good because this this just didn't happen when he became a, an adult. It had to happen when he was young for him to do these type of horrific things to women over and over and over again. He's sick. Mystical is sick. He just got out of jail doing all that time. He gets out and does the same thing all over again. That, that, you got to go, Mystical. Oh, it ain't my fault. Did I do that? It ain't my fault, Mystical. We true soldiers. We don't die. His energy, uh, his energy with Master P, they out that Calio, his energy, his presence. It's just a sad story how this brother threw his life away because of demonic forces, because of, oh, let me get my thing up, because of demonic forces, because of his urges, because of broken homes. Now, I'm not saying something happened to him when he was little, but I'm not saying something didn't happen to him. You understand what I'm saying? Mystical missed out on a lot of opportunities to be one of the, really one of the greats. He missed out on the opportunity to really imp uh, implement his name and what this thing we call hip hop. Mystical can hang with the best. Mystical is very articulate. Mystical, like I said, has a lot of charisma and to all go a waste because of his personal battles. Sick. He can't control himself. He gets off. He's a predator. He gets off on dominating somebody that really can't defend himself against him. Y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think happened to Mystical when he was little? Or do y'all believe these urges, his mind frame towards women happened in his adult years? 250, capital G, rooted in music TV, I'm gone.